Hey friends, thank you for joining me on Quiet Minds. So this podcast episode is a little bit different than my usual episodes, and it's something new that I'll be sharing. And it's a series called Confessions of an Introvert, where I share more about myself in hopes that it might relate and connect with you and help you feel not so alone in this big wide world. So as an introvert, I often find myself on the receiving end of misunderstandings, particularly in relationships and friendships. And it can sometimes feel frustrating because my intentions are sometimes mistaken for something they're not. And for example, there have been countless times when my need for solitude and alone time was seen as being distant or disconnecting from the people I care about and who care about me. But in reality, all I wanted was some time to recharge and reflect and process whatever it is I'm going through at the moment. But for someone who doesn't experience life the way introverts do or sensitive people do, my quietness or withdrawal can sometimes be interpreted as detachment. And it's hard, especially when I see people who are hurt or confused when they think that I'm pulling away from them when all I'm doing is retreating because I need to find my own sense of inner balance and a sense of peace. And I remember a time when a close friend of mine thought that I didn't care about our relationship because I wasn't as present as they expected me to be or wanted me to be. And I wasn't responding to messages right away or making plans. And to them, it felt like I was pulling back. But to me, I was just overwhelmed with life and whatever it was I was going through at the time. And I just needed time to process things on my own. And I wanted to communicate that, but how do you explain to someone that your silence isn't a reflection of your feelings towards them? And it's not a form of rejection, but it's a way that we protect our own energy. We eventually talk things through and like having an honest conversation about their needs and my needs actually strengthened our friendship. But sometimes being misunderstood in friendships actually can make me personally hesitant to open up fully in future relationships because I fear that people will take my quiet nature personally, but who I am is not about somebody else. And even in romantic relationships, this feeling of being misunderstood has always been there. My partner now, he's also an introvert, which is great. So he understands me and he gets me and he's similar in so many ways. But in my past relationship, past relationships, I've been told that I come across as cold or indifferent because I don't always express my emotions outwardly. And sometimes I do just shut off and I kind of go within, but it even goes back to school. And I can recall like many times sitting in the classroom, completely lost in thought, overwhelmed by the noise and energy of everybody around me and teachers would call on me thinking I was disengaged or not paying attention when really I was trying to process everything in my own quiet way and social settings in school were just as hard especially like being put on the spot doing speeches I absolutely hated that and some people loved it they loved being the center of attention and you know they thrived in that But me, I'd feel so anxious and like I was drowning in my anxiety. And people would often like misread my quietness as shyness. But really, I was just observing rather than participating in the chaos. That's just, that's just how I was. But this misunderstanding in school carried over into adulthood where my quieter nature was often seen as being aloof. But that's the thing about being an introvert. We feel deeply. We think deeply but we express it in ways that are often misunderstood by others. And it takes a certain level of understanding and patience from those around us to truly see who we are beneath the surface. And it's also made me more protective of my own space and energy. And it's made me like very selective about who I open up to. And it's not that I don't want connection with others. It's that I crave deeper connections in my relationships. And that that often means navigating a world that doesn't always understand me. And I just want to add that it's not our intention as introverts and highly sensitive people to shut people out. We just experience the world differently, processing our thoughts and our emotions in a way that requires solitude. And misunderstandings are common, but they can be talked about with open and honest communication. And I've learned that explaining my need for space to others can sometimes help but it doesn't always mean that people will fully understand me. But you know, that's okay. As long as I understand myself, then then I'm good. 
All right, my friends, that's it for today's series of Confessions of an Introvert. Thank you so much for listening. Let me know if you related with what I shared. I always love reading your comments and hearing about your own experiences as well. And if you feel inclined, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel.